So what's the Circuiter Raptor electric scooter? That's coming right up. The Circuiter Raptor off-road electric scooter is a budget-conscious and feature-packed personal transportation device designed to deliver a thrilling ride and impressive performance. With its 800-watt brushless motor, 48-volt, 15-amp-hour battery, this scooter offers an exhilarating experience while providing a generous range of 25 miles. In this review, we'll dive into the features, highlighting its strengths as well as areas for improvement. So let's get to it. The Raptor has a sturdy and durable construction, weighing in at 58 pounds, which puts it in the high performance but somewhat difficult to carry around category. While the solid build ensures stability and a comfortable ride, the weight may prove to be a challenge when it comes to transporting the scooter up a flight of stairs or through public transportation. But if you have access to an elevator or a garage, this shouldn't be much of an issue. Equipped with an 800 watt brushless motor, the Raptor offers impressive acceleration and smooth operation. The motor's power enables the scooter to reach a top speed of 28 miles per hour in turbo mode, although we only reached 24 miles per hour when we tested it with our GPS. The 48 volt 15 amp hour battery provides a commendable range of 25 miles on a single charge, making it suitable for daily commutes or longer trips. I noticed the scooter made an audible beep once it reached top speed and disabled throttle, which is similar to other speed limiting systems but without the audible beep. To reduce charging time, the Raptor is designed with dual charging ports, allowing users to connect two chargers simultaneously. This feature proves to be beneficial for those who are always on the go, as it reduces the time required to replenish the battery. It's worth noting that the charging ports are located on the left and right sides of the deck. In my opinion, the ports could have been located side by side, which is more convenient for ease of use. With a maximum load weight of 440 pounds, the Raptor electric scooter caters to a wide range of riders, including those who are on the heavier side. The 13-inch high deck provides ample foot space and contributes to a comfortable riding experience, allowing riders to maintain a stable and balanced position. The right-hand thumb throttle offers precise control over acceleration allowing riders to effortlessly adjust their speed to match the surrounding environment. However, one drawback is the absence of a twist throttle option, which some riders may prefer for its ergonomic design and ease of use. The throttle that's included is a side control design, which isn't as precise as a twist or even an up and down throttle. Here it is, the Circuiter Raptor off-road electric scooter. You'll notice that we have these really big integrated headlights. Uh, these things are really, really unique. I mean, you have like this protective cover on top of the lights, these egg-shaped lenses, and you got this little halo around the light. So at night, you'll be super visible. We have 10-inch solid all-terrain tires. You'll never have to worry about getting a flat, but that also means you'll feel every bump in the road. A little bit of a trade-off there, depending on what your preference is. Obviously, the foldable stem, the fold it you unscrew this piece over here and then this kind of comes out and it folds down total weight of the scooter is 58 pounds but that comes with the territory for these high performance scooters they are usually over 50 pounds we make our way to the bars over here we have dual disc and electronic brakes so you do have electronic motor cutoff you have your display over here look like y'all done soup that motherfucker up maybe <laughs> so over here we have the controls. We have integrated turn signals. I'll show you guys in a second what that looks like. The right-hand thumb throttle, not the usual or typical thumb throttle that you see on e-bikes. This is more of like a, I think an ATV kind of like thumb throttle. This might feel a little weird coming off to the side as opposed to vertically coming down or even a twist throttle might feel more appropriate. Your mileage will vary on that. So on the Raptor, you have a 13 inch deck, plenty of room that has dual suspension. So uh, you have a spring under here that's kind of hidden. You can see the spring over here. You have a rear and a front turn signal. Not sure if you're able to see it, but there are also some deck lights under here. So this is powered by a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. The battery is not removable, very similar to these high performance electric scooters. So you'll probably have to bring this inside, figure out a place to store it. So here's a charging port. Now there's two charging ports, charging port here and one on the other side. So you have dual charging ports and that's to decrease charging time. You do have a rear fender. You have an integrated tail light, kickstands on the left side over here. A lot of branding, you know, you definitely see Circuiter. As far as the color, you have kind of like this uh, cherry red, a little sparkly, some red accents on the deck itself. Really excited to test this out, so let's get to it. We have three riding modes, Eco, Standard, and Turbo. I think we should just go to turbo. I haven't played with the app yet, but by default, there's no kickstart, so the throttle will just move the scooter. All right. 
Very smooth acceleration. Nothing crazy. I am on turbo mode. Definitely picks up after a few seconds. Yeah, very smooth. Okay. Yeah, nothing, I mean, maneuvering it is pretty nice. Made a clicking sound, I don't know exactly what that means. 20 miles per hour, 22, 24, 25. Yeah, very, very smooth, very easy to handle. Again, it's only 48 volts. So it's not too bad. The brakes definitely need some adjusting. I'm definitely grabbing the brakes pretty hard. <laughs> it wasn't as intimidating as I thought it would be. It's only 48 volts. It's only one motor. I think I'm more familiar with the dual hub motor scooters. So this was actually really smooth and really comfortable. I think this would be fine for beginners or, you know, everyone from experienced riders to beginners. It doesn't really throw you off even when you give it all the gas. It's fine. I think it topped me out at like 24, 25 miles per hour. And I heard some kind of beep. So I don't know if what that was all about. It didn't quite get me to 28, but I also don't know if this speedometer is super accurate. I would categorize this in sort of the budget category of high performance electric scooters. We'll let our buddy uh, Sully Stunts try it as well and get his thoughts. Let's check out the Circuiter. All right, really smooth, super easy to control, maneuvers quite well. Let's see how the suspension feels. It's very stiff, but stiff is better than uh, not stiff enough. Take the sidewalk here and do a loop. Yeah, the throttle response is very crisp. Oh yeah, now we'll get some bumps. Let me hit a few bumps here. Oh yeah, takes the bumps really good, actually. Let's give it some speed and see what happens now that we have a little straightaway. So I'm floored now. 14, 20, 22. And that is as fast as it got me. It was 22.2 on the dash. Beeped at me twice. For the price point, I don't think you could beat it. Handles pretty good. Yeah, if you had like a nice little uh, commute to work or you know, you just need it to get around a busy city, you'll definitely get there quicker than everyone else and it's super comfortable and easy to ride and very enjoyable. Let's try uphill, Let's see what we can get to. 20, 22. So it seems to like cap me at like 22. Skirt. 24, 25. Now we're going downhill, 26.4. Come on, baby. Okay, 26.4 mile an hour was the fastest I could get it to go. The bar positioning and height is really good. Some of the scooters that I've ridden, I felt like the bars were a little bit too high. This one seems like a good height. I'm just, just shy of six foot. Uh, oh, the suspension felt really good. Um, it's a little stiff, but I would rather have it be too stiff than not stiff enough when you're hitting those bigger bumps. Especially if you're heavier than me, I'm not, I don't weigh very much. So if you were, you know, 50 to 100 pounds more than me, it'd probably feel just about adequate. But it's just powerful enough to get you where you need to go and I wouldn't be hes I wouldn't hesitate to give this to someone who hasn't ridden one before. It's very beginner friendly. The Raptor prioritizes rider safety with its dual disc brakes and electronic cutoff. The combination of these braking systems ensures efficient stopping power, giving riders peace of mind even at higher speeds. Additionally, the integrated dual headlights, deck lights, turn signals, and rear taillight contribute to enhanced visibility and overall safety during nighttime rides or adverse weather conditions. The Raptor features front and rear hydraulic suspension, which effectively absorb shocks and vibrations, providing a smooth and comfortable ride even on uneven terrain. The 10-inch all-terrain solid tires offer excellent grip and durability, allowing riders to confidently traverse various surfaces without worrying about getting a flat. But keep in mind that solid tires still transfer vibrations to the rider more than air tires. The center mount LCD display provides riders with essential information, including speed, battery level, and trip distance at a glance. However, a notable downside of the Raptor is the non-removable battery. This limitation might inconvenience some riders who wish to charge the battery separately to save weight while transporting 
or to replace it easily in the future. To summarize, the Circuiter Raptor impresses with its motor, speed, and performance. It isn't a scooter that's so powerful that it would intimidate beginners, but it's also not too limited for more experienced riders either. While the absence of a twist throttle and the weight of the scooter might be considered drawbacks, the Raptor compensates with its affordable price, sturdy design, and integrated lighting features. Overall, it's a pretty good value for anyone looking to upgrade their existing scooter, but maybe isn't ready for a high-performance dual motor scooter. With that in mind, the Sakuda Raptor is definitely worth considering. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.